Abuja, for the longest time, I've heard people say Royal St. G is the best resort in Ghana. If you do a quick YouTube search, a lot of videos have been done about it already. And this is what some of the people are saying. Very beautiful bedroom here at Royal St. G. What? This is like my favorite place ever. Like it's, I feel like it's the most beautiful place I've ever been to in Ghana. Royal Senchi. This is it. The cruise down the Volta River was sublime. Environment is also neat, spacious, beautiful. This is the best place I've ever been. The most beautiful resort I've ever been in Ghana. So I had to go check them out myself. So I talked to Wademaya. He arranged with the head of sales and marketing. Mr. Nice Guy, aka Emmanuel Mensa, and the date was set. Some little information the Royal St. is in Akosombo, the eastern region of Ghana. It was founded by Mr. Yabua Samuafer in 1997 as a restaurant. It is the first four star luxury resort in Ghana, which sits on about 35 acres of land. It was crowned the 2020 best riverside luxury hotel in Africa. That reminds me, it's on the banks of the Volta River and its architectural design. It sets it apart from the majority of resorts in Ghana. portion of this video let me take you through the place you know their reception their pool restaurant etc Check out their rooms. They have three different types of rooms. Affordable, I won't cry, and someone please hold me now. But you let's start with the affordable, aka standard room. Cry room, aka your sweets.
finally, someone please help me now. Okay, their presidential suite. And now something different. And I, 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 I don't remember. has its own swimming pool so you don't have to share the main pool with other people if you don't want to let's go to the interview part whilst you know you watch footages of some of the other parts of royal Sench. how best can you describe royal Sench? <laughs> the best to say mm -hmm. is the right place to be right place to be okay simple oh i see i heard um you established this place in 1992 or 93 when it was just a small resort covering the place where the swimming pool is right now really yes oh a couple of chalets and by then it was called the Sinchi waterfront resort oh okay uh -huh. and then it officially opened to this big space in 2013 why that long gap well <laughs> as at the time mm -hmm. It was a small resort, okay. functioning fully, with rooms, basically chalets, mm -hmm. with a restaurant. And I remember us at that time, even now, our delicacy was Banku and Tilapia. Oh, and see. you could have people drive all the way from Accra hey. just to come and eat Banku and Tilapia <laughs> and go back. But along the line, you see, the owner had a dream at some point to go bigger. Mm -hmm. like what we see yeah and so in 2010 mm -hmm. construction began to do what you see now okay and then by 2013 august mm -hmm. we will be able to open to the public oh okay yes. so are you still building or you are done well it depends on what you mean by building in terms of rooms, rooms. we like to remain 84 rooms okay as we are Mm -hmm. But it's 35 acres of mainland, 35 acres of island. Oh, so about 70 acres of land. So that's why we say we are yours to discover. <laughs> there is a lot more that you can discover. Oh. So at the moment, we are working on the island. Okay. Where there's already a hiking trail. Mm -hmm. And we are trying to do like a picnic area where families okay. can go and have a good time. In fact, if you get on the island, you realize that it's, it's like a completely different environment. Mm -hmm. You don't hear the sound or the noise from okay. the mainland mm -hmm. on the island. It's also a good place for team bonding and corporate retreats, you know, with a completely different ambience okay. than from the mainland. Is that open to the public or not, not yet? Of course, it will be open to the public. Okay. It will take time to fully open, oh, I see. but uh, for now what we are focused on probably will open more to our resident guests mm -hmm. and you know people who come for day retreats could okay. also have access to it. I see. So what types of room do you have here? There are three categories of rooms. Okay. So there is the one we call the river view room. Mm -hmm. I mean in fact all our 84 rooms, if you look at the design of the hotel guest room side, you realize that we made good use of the Volta River. So all the 84 rooms with all the curvature you see in our building has an incredible view of the Volta River. Okay. So we chose the name Riverview Room mm -hmm. for what an average hotel will refer to as a standard room. Oh, okay. So you have the Riverview Room, mm -hmm. which overlooks the river, and suite bathroom. You have a balcony or terrace, depending on which floor you are in. Mm -hmm. um, uh, bathroom has a bathtub and a separate shower, which is not common. I mean, in yeah. most hotels, 
you have a bathtub with a shower installed mm -hmm. so you draw your shower curtains and you can shower or soak but we have separated so you can have a complete experience mm -hmm. and and the beauty of it is that whilst in your bathtub you still have access to your television you still have access to your incredible view of the river from even within your bathtub so that's the river view room. The river view room. And then we have what we call the river suite. Okay. Where you have a separate bedroom and a living room. I see. Um, also still having your balcony or terrace, depending on which floor you are. And of course we have the presidential suite, which we call the Picathatis suite. Okay. Named after a bird, a very rare bird. Oh. But luckily we have some in Ghana. Not very common. Okay. You know, our, our owners are nature-loving people, mm -hmm. and so that's how come we chose to work with nature. I see. Exactly. So the river view room, the river suite, and the Picatati suite, which is the oh, presidential suite. Wow. So why should anyone choose to come here instead of a different hotel? <laughs> that's why I started by mentioning that simply put the right place to be. <laughs> I mean, I, I can go on and on about what the experience of people who have been here okay you know i've i've, I've had a, a former general manager of one of the reputable hotels in ghana mm -hmm. come to stay and then um the following day he he, he tells me bennett um i i never get to wake up late mm -hmm. only in your hotel <laughs> only on your mattress wow that i get to wake up after 10 a.m okay we've we've had people who want to write books and decided to come and spend the whole week here to write a book. Musicians who like to write a song songs, okay. and like to come and spend time here because of the tranquility to be able to do this. I see. So I, I, I've heard this place also being referred to as the romantic uh, resort. I don't know if that, that is right or something like that. Why, why that name? It's why actually that... on point and I, 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 I will tell you, mm -hmm. we have actually had, I can't count, I lost count now, proposals <laughs> happening in our hotel. Wow. Somebody proposing at the reception, somebody proposing just where the band is, somebody proposing in the restaurant, somebody proposing on the island, <laughs> on the riverfront, on the boat, in the room. and. The beauty of it is that, you see, was in the room, mm -hmm. your bathroom and your living room mm -hmm. is not completely blocked, like no, I explained. There is kind of a window. Beautiful. Both, both so there. you can imagine if you are here for your animal, mm -hmm. you don't lose sight of your partner at any point in time. <laughs> True. Regardless of where that person is in the room, yeah. you find yourself. Wow. <laughs> well, for those who are, you know, watching this video and are willing to come here, what type of the services comes bundled with the, you know, when they book the room? Okay, so there are, there are options. For example, we have the honeymoon package, mm -hmm. um, which includes your meals for as long as you are staying with us. So you stay with us for two nights. Okay. That's, that's how the package is designed, but okay. it doesn't limit you to two nights. I mean, you can do four nights, mm -hmm. six nights, eight nights. So from the day you arrive, beginning with a cocktail at the Insu bar, your dinner, mm -hmm. um, sleep over the following day you get as a couple a full body massage all of you together in the spa hey. <laughs> you get a private boat cruise on the Volta river takes you to the beautiful Adomo bridge mm -hmm. returns behind the island and back to the hotel just a couple yeah so you can you know enjoy that then within that second day you enjoy your breakfast which could be in bed mm -hmm. or in the restaurant your choice at okay. no extra fee lunch dinner and then of course the following day after breakfast the package comes to an end whilst on the property um, we have a fitness center okay and like i mentioned our love for nature our fitness center is not a place you go and you are boxed in mm -hmm. whilst in the fitness center you get to view the pool side the river side the garden with the peacocks and the bunnies yeah you know mm -hmm. walking around and all of that being in the fitness center comes with the package uh, we have a tennis court okay. state of the art not too far from the guest room area mm -hmm. we have a driving range there's a mini golf where you can yeah. practice hit some balls and and the beauty of our driving range is that in the night the balls you hit turn to light the moment you hit it oh. so in the night you can actually see your ball going flying in the sky 
to how far it can go. At the riverside, we have kayaks, canoes, paddle boats. These are manual water sports machines mm -hmm. or water sport equipment. It's also part of the package. So once you stay with us, you get to enjoy these. And the interesting thing is that people come and they're like, oh, from where I'm coming, uh, water is not mm -hmm. my friend. Yeah, like me. Then at some point, they move from there to I don't want to stop. <laughs> You know, oh, I see. and you could go for a nature walk in our nature park, which is mm -hmm. the island. Uh, you know, Ghana is one country blessed with a lot of species of butterflies. Mm -hmm. And on this island, we have more than 50 species of very beautiful butterflies. Oh, Over 50 species of birds are also on the island. Mm -hmm. So as early as you want to wake up, like 5.30 a.m., 6 a.m., you grab your binoculars, you get on the island, and you can appreciate what oh. God has created I see so everything you just said comes bundled with the price of booking a room depending on the package you subscribe to oh, okay, okay, uh, okay I, I think see. things like the fitness center tennis kayak canoe paddle boats nature walk on the island these are part of every package you subscribe to okay but when it comes to the meals instead of the meal plans then you choose whether you're doing a bed and breakfast, you're doing a full board, mm -hmm. you're doing a half board. So yeah. those options are there. Now let's talk about the most important part, which is the affordability of this place. Is it affordable? Because if you are talking the standard, I've been in the rooms before when we were shooting. Um, we are a four-star hotel. Hotel, yeah. And we are within the same price range that four-star four hotels, hotels okay. charge. Okay. And there are deals depending on when you want to come. Mm -hmm. Weekday deals are there. You can check online, the Royal Okay. Weekend packages are also there. So it depends on when you want to, but I think we are very affordable, very affordable, relating us with other hotels within the country. Fantastic. Well, I won't waste much of your time. What will be your final words to anyone watching? I like to encourage everyone to come because we are yours to discover. Mm -hmm. Don't stay home and hear about us and let it end there. Come and see for yourself. Yeah. And you will not regret visiting the Royal City. Royal City. So what, one important question. Can people just walk in here and maybe just go to the restaurant and buy something to eat there? Or the restaurant is just reserved for people living in no, house guests so, only? So we are a resort, but we are not limited to resident guests only. Okay. So all these outlets that I'm mentioning, except the fitness center, but every other outlet that is commercial is open to the public. The restaurant where we do buffets and sometimes a la carte, the palm lounge, which is our indoor bar, the insu bar, which is our outdoor bar by the pool, yeah. the famous Geo Club house, club, which yeah. is the terrace bar, mm -hmm. all of these are open to the public. Plus the boat cruise Including the pool. The pool is open to the public. Wow. Well, I would say if we don't shut up, you will never stop talking. <laughs> so, boss, can you give them, you know, your contact details in case anyone is watching and wants to visit Royal Senchi? So, we are available on Facebook, on Twitter. The name is The Royal Senchi Hotel and Resort. Yeah. Uh, our website is www.theroyalsenchi.com. Mm -hmm. uh, if you want to phone us, 0303-409-170180, you'll be able to get to us. All right. I mean... In this era, thank God for Google. Just Google the Google. Royal Senchi. Royal Senchi. Yeah. And you are here. Now, this is not just what Royal Senchi has. But the fun thing is they can take you on a boat tour or excursion on one of the most largest artificial reservoirs in the world, the Volta Lake, to show you the Adomi Bridge, the most famous and the longest suspension bridge in Ghana. That connects two regions, the Volta and then the Eastern. <laughs>
all that is the Royal Seji for you. A very nice resort with a lot of stuff for us broke folks. Yeah, as well as deep pocket individuals like Capito. In his dreams, I say they have a helipad. Baby, I look brave. I can highly recommend this place for all your holidays or weekend getaway if you can afford it. But if you wanna go there, book it fast because their rooms are almost always fully booked. Their standard room at the recording of this video is two hundred and fifty dollars and it's fully booked. Either way, that's our video for today. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to our YouTube channel for videos like this every single week. Till we meet again, Abuja. Adios.